Hi. How are you today? Okay, let's see. Coronavirus. But what I did was I looked up some stuff, okay? Because I had a few questions and I sort of came up with some interesting uh, thoughts, okay? Uh, but I went, I had to get, I had to go to my library of my personal books and find this book, okay? My microbiology book, okay? Uh, Principles and Health Science Applications. Yeah, I can read, okay? So what I did was I sort of wrote down a few things, okay, that I saw, found interesting, and I wanted to share them with you. And I, like I said, I'm going to have to break these videos up. Uh, but it, it says, uh, okay, aseptic te techniques in a laboratory for the I isolation of pure cultures can be controlled because the conditions in, uh, can be carefully controlled. Okay. Right. I am write that down. Right. But so, okay. Now it, with laboratories, the environment is very controlled. Okay, so you don't have, you, you don't hear of the laboratory technicians uh, succumbing to the virus, even though they're dealing with thousands and thousands of uh, samples of this virus. Okay, so that's an interesting thought, a controlled environment. And, uh, okay. Okay, so that's, that's going to be helpful in what I'm going to tell you about my suggestion. Okay, now, uh, let me see. Okay, my, my, microbial death occurs when an organism is no longer capable of reproduction. Okay, size mark. Okay, so, see, uh, see, the thing is, people, uh, or you doctors and scientists, uh, all of you, okay, that's leading and in control, uh, you need to tell the people, you need to give them the science, okay? You need to give them the science, okay? You've told us how dangerous it is. We need to stay home, but you haven't given them the science on this stuff, okay? How staying home, I mean, you got to give them this, you got to tell them about the microbials and, 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 and all of that, okay? That's what you need to do. Okay, and, and then they're going to understand, not all of us, you know, we, we, we can take it. We, we, you can tell us that, that part of it. Okay, we want to know the details. We want to know the science. Okay, that's what's going to capture us and make us really stay home. When we really understand the science, the, the detailed science of this stuff. Trust me, we'll listen. Okay, if you had told me, I wouldn't have to look it up in the book. Okay, all right, so there we go. <sighs> okay, uh, there was something I wanted to uh, look at. Okay, okay, wait, okay, but listen, let me get to my, uh, my point. Okay, let me get to my point. Uh, I believe, uh, okay, from what I read, okay, uh, from what I read, right, uh, one thing jumped out at me uh, was a part on, hmm, where is it, uh, was the, uh, th there's a part in here that talks about ultraviolet rays. UV light, okay? Now, it says the destruction of microorganisms by UV light is caused by its action on the DNA and proteins of cells. Some bases of DNA absorb UV, some bases of DNA absorb UV radiation and are altered, causing mutations in the cells. Okay, so, this is going to lead me to tell you what I think you need to do in the hospitals to cut down on the, on the uh, 
the 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 uh, the loss of or I'm going to say it like this uh, uh, what I'm going to say is going to uh, enhance the protection of our frontline medical personnel okay now first of all first of all if it were my hospital all the lights are UV honey every light every is UV 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 okay uh, because see also what I read and what I, what I read and what I know is that UV lights are used in uh, operating rooms during surgery uh, because it cuts down on the microorganisms and stuff like that okay because if they are around it's killing them okay so that is uh, something that I would put in I'd put have UV lights everywhere okay I'd even have them on the patients okay because <clears throat> the thing is with the patients uh okay from what i want okay it's, it's about cutting down the contact with the microorganisms okay one is this virus okay so the the perfect uh environment would be if you were able to incubate uh or put the uh all the patients with the COVID 19 in an incubator okay where they would be uh covered up you understand just like in the uh, neonatal okay when when the little baby you know they're the premature ones and and they have them in a little incubator okay and and they even have the hole that uh the nurses and doctors can examine them through uh uh without the the baby having to be exposed okay and they, they're in that light i mean and oh, oh yeah and the light they're under a lot of times the the because of the the billy rubin levels are so high okay which billy rubin i believe it's a protein isn't it hmm it's a protein and so uh the treatment for that is uv light okay now we know that with this coronavirus we're dealing with spike proteins okay we're dealing with spike proteins so if you can put some uv light on the on the patients okay uh maybe that's that would be helpful okay and now with the incubator okay we know we we don't have incubators okay but what you can do is sort of build a a a a, a, a a plastic wall or a partition uh, you can partition them off with 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 uh, some clear plastic okay have it on the top and it would come down and it would come come down you know like a round shower curtain sort of thing okay but it would come all the way down and then it would be on the top and then it would have the holes in it that the doctors could use to do whatever they needed to do right so then you, you cut down uh, 